Mrs. Coco, Mrs. Coco, when I was a baby, my hands were so small, my spikes were short, I had such a little body. And now look at me, I'm all grown up. Yes, Spiky, growth happens through cell division. How do cells divide? Cells divide through a process called mitosis. Mitosis is the division of a single cell into two identical daughter cells, in which the number of chromosomes remains the same. Mitosis takes place in the somatic cells of our body which are the cells that make up different parts of our body, like our skin and organs. But how does mitosis take place? Let's take a closer look at how mitosis takes place. There are four phases of mitotic cell division. You can remember it by the letters P-M-A-T, or P-M-A-T. Here, P stands for prophase, M for metaphase, A is for anaphase, and T is for telophase. During the first stage of mitosis, that is prophase, the chromosomes become visible and can be seen clearly under a microscope, and the nucleolus and the nuclear membrane disappear. The spindle fibers elongate to attach with each chromatid at the centromere. Next comes metaphase. During this phase, the sister chromatids align at the equator or the center of the cell. So both chromatids face the opposite ends of the cell. Now the sister chromatids are ready to be separated. Mrs. Coco, the spindle fibers are still attached to the centromeres. Yes, Spiky, they have to be, because these spindle fibers will help separate the sister chromatids during the third phase, anaphase. The spindle fibers now shorten and the sister chromatids separate. Additionally, the poles of the cell move further apart, causing the sister chromatids to pull apart. Telophase is the phase where the components of the new cell begin to appear. At this point, the spindle fibers are broken up, and a new nuclear membrane surrounds the chromosomes. The chromosomes uncoil and return to an uncondensed state. After all the phases of mitosis, the cell undergoes cytokinesis, which divides the cell into two halves. The cell organelles are replicated by now. They are now split between the two halves of the cell. The two daughter cells produced as a result of mitosis are identical. Now do you understand what the purpose of mitosis is? It helps us to grow. Yes. Not only is mitosis important to make new cells which allows for the growth of an organism, it is also necessary for the healing of a wound, seed germination, and even replacing red blood cells. Let's summarize. Mitosis is a type of cell division that produces two daughter cells. There are four phases in mitotic cell division, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. The daughter cells formed at the end of mitosis are identical to their parent cell. Mitosis is important for the growth of an organism and healing wounds because it makes new cells.